So far in the bubble, a lot of players and teams have stepped up in numerous ways to get that 8th seed in the Western Conference. You have the Portland Trail Blazers who just defeated the Denver Nuggets. Shout out to Damian Lillard, he has been killing it in the bubble as now the Portland Trail Blazers are just half a game removed from the 8th spot that belongs to the Memphis Grizzlies. And then you also have teams such as the Phoenix Suns who have gone 4-0 and in the bubble. This team has defeated teams such as the Mavericks and the Clippers and they are also coming off of a win against the Indiana Pacers in which their two star players in DeAndre Ayton and Devin Booker combined for 43 points as they both had 20 and 23 respectively as well as 10 rebounds on Ayton's part and 10 assists on Booker's part as well. This team looks like they have been on a roll and honestly I'm actually happy for them because after all the years of mediocrity it looks like the Suns have finally found some light in the end of the dark tunnel and Devin Booker this year has been the biggest catalyst for this team's turnaround as not only was he able to capture his first all-star appearance but so far this season he has put up averages of 26 points a game and just under seven assists as well as grabbing four rebounds per contest while shooting 48 to 49 percent from the field 36 percent from behind the arc on just short of six attempts a game and while also shooting 91 to 92 percent from the free throw line and in the bubble he was able to step up in big moments to help the phoenix suns defeat some teams that let's be honest are way out of their league such as the mavericks and the clippers and in those games he gave him a 30 piece at least as he dropped 30 against the mavericks and 35 against the clippers as well as the game winner which those photos are completely iconic forever and it has really sparked a conversation about just how good is Devin Booker? Now for those who have been watching this channel you guys know I've been very critical about Devin Booker because I think there are so many other players in the NBA that can give you what Booker gives you while also leading their teams to consistent success year after year so I always just kind of value that more and honestly when it comes to D-Book I do think I've been a little bit overcritical of him. But now that I've seen what he's done in the bubble and I've had some time to just think about a lot of my videos in the past, I think I kind of rushed the gun about my opinion on Devin Booker. Because when I look at his skill set, he can do it all. He can finish, he can get to the free throw line and make them at a very high level, as well as shoot the three ball pretty capable when it comes to his stroke from behind the arc. The only problem is he can be a little streaky at times, but I do think he's pretty reliable. And I think to have a guy that that can give you 20 to 25 points per game on a night to night basis while doing it on rather decent efficiency. It isn't everybody that can do that in the NBA and Devin Booker definitely should be given his credit for what he is able to do on a basketball court but he is not the perfect player. Let's not act like defensively he's the greatest player in the world because he's not. He's not a great defender whatsoever. Sometimes doesn't really show the best of effort. And I think that the only reason I hesitate to call him a defensive liability is because of the fact that he is six foot five. So by virtue of his size, he does have some use on that end. But regardless, when it comes to Devin Booker, defense is not something that you associate with his name. But getting back to if he is an NBA superstar, let me give you guys my definition of a superstar because there are so many definitions. I have heard some people say a superstar is a top 10 player. I've heard some people say anybody can be an NBA superstar if they have the name value because some people think Russell Westbrook's a superstar, not just by talent, but because of the fact that he's a former league MVP. He's one of the greatest players to ever play the game. So regardless, he is an NBA superstar. Well guys, that's not my definition. To me, an NBA superstar is somebody that can be the best player on a championship team. So there isn't really that many superstars in the NBA. But regardless, I do not think that Devin Booker is in that class. And I think for the most part, people know Devin Booker isn't there yet. Does he have the potential to get there? I definitely do think he does. His offensive skill set is very efficient and even though he isn't the greatest passer in the world, he's fairly solid on that end of the ball and I think that if he can improve on the defensive side and the Phoenix Suns can get him some consistent help to surround him with, I definitely think he will be on his way to solidifying himself as not only one of the better players in the NBA but to eventually rise and reach the superstardom that many people think that he is on his way to fulfilling. But what I will say is I don't think that superstardom can be reached in Phoenix because let's be honest, Phoenix is a dumpster fire of an organization. 
they have missed out on so many great players and yes they don't have the market attention of a los angeles or a new york but let's be honest here this is an organization that is drafted terribly in a lot of their recent years. I won't really hate on them for getting DeAndre Ayton over Luka Doncic as many people had him as the consensus first overall pick headed into the draft in the first place. But when you look at other picks such as Josh Jackson or Dragon Bender, as well as getting Cameron Johnson as high as they did when numerous people thought he was going to go in the second round on their draft boards, it's actually insane what the Phoenix Suns have done when it comes to drafting future players for this organization and it's not just a problem in the drafting department you could also look at just how they manage players on their roster let's not forget that bubble tj warren who just went on a historic three game stretch not too long ago was traded from the phoenix suns for cash to the indiana pacers one of the dumbest decisions that i saw in that offseason it really blew my mind that the phoenix suns decided to just let go of him who is a really solid scorer by the way isn't great defensively or anything even on the boards doesn't really give you that much but he is a decent scorer to have on your team and not only did they just let him go but they let him go for nothing didn't even bother to get something back and look at what he's doing in the bubble right now he has been a very valuable player for the indiana pacers and the phoenix suns it seems like no matter what kind of talent they get either they manage to kill it before it ever gets the chance to manifest or they let it go and it goes to blossom in a different organization and that's just the story of this team and honestly i really pity devin booker because what he has to go through on a night in and night out basis is a very difficult task players like him Zach Levine, Carl Anthony Towns, Trey Young, they're not the guys like LeBron or Kobe that can just really overcome the odds in a major way. They need some help on their rosters to be able to get them to that level to reach their full potential and succeed in the NBA. They're not somebody that can lift their organization no matter the insurmountable odds. It doesn't mean they're trash, it just means that guys like that are not in a position to where they can lift their teams so the success that many people believe a player with their capabilities should be fulfilling on a year in and year out basis and in regards to devin booker we all see what he can do on a basketball court there aren't many guards or even players in the league in general that can give you what he gives you on a night in and night out basis and though i do think some people can overrate him by saying he's a top 10 to 15 player or he deserves to be an all nba performer i think that what he has been able to do this season has been pretty remarkable the Suns have not been as bad as many people thought they were going to be coming into the season or at least I should say me as let's be honest I am not the biggest Phoenix Suns fan I hate to see organizations like them and the Timberwolves exist even because it seems like they're just wasting everybody's time because they can't accomplish anything it seems like and honestly when I look at a guy like Devin Booker he's too good to be wasting his great years in an organization that can't accomplish anything this is a team that for years has been given top draft picks year in and year out and can't develop any of them say what you want when it comes to these small market teams and that they're at a disadvantage because of their location and attractiveness and certain players just wanting to team up with their friends but at the end of the day if you run a competent organization you can get star players just look at the Brooklyn Nets they should be an example to any small market team or any team in the league that you can build an organization by development with a great culture and also making smart decisions in your front office but it's very clear that the phoenix suns are incapable of all three of those things because if they were they would be somewhat respectable you know why people respect a team like the golden state warriors it's not just because of the fact that they established one of the greatest dynasties ever that won three championships in a five-year window but it's also because of the grind and journey for them to get to that destination they were able to draft well with players like Steph Clay and Draymond they established a culture and brought in a new head coach in Steve Kerr to introduce a play style that changed basketball forever. And then they were able to attract a free agent in Kevin Durant who was one of the top three players on the planet Earth and eventually went on to win back-to-back -back championships 
after coming off of back-to-back -back finals appearances in a championship in the 2015 season. They didn't do that because of their location being attractive. They did that because they had competent people in their front office who knew what the fuck they were doing. And when you have teams that don't know what the fuck they're doing, such as the Timberwolves or the Bulls, sadly, or even the Phoenix Suns, players like Zach Levine, Carl Anthony Towns, and obviously Devin Booker, they're going to have to bear the brunt of the incompetence of their organizations. But in conclusion, is D-Book a superstar? No. But is he on his way to becoming one? Well, that answer is really something up to the future because we really just don't know. But he has a very bright future, and like I said earlier, not many players can do what he does on an NBA court. But that concludes this video, you guys. Let me know your opinions down below in the comments section. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy what you see as well as hit that subscribe button and that bell for post notifications if you like the channel. Check out the links in the description box. This is your boy Young Mustard signing out. Y'all have a great day and stay safe. Peace.